I've learned recently is that a really good treat is really good sweet farm sweet corn off the plant. You don't even need to cook it. Oh, really good. Um, cooking is fine. I boil it as well, but when it's fresh and off the plant and not dried out or not wormy, it's a delicious farm treat. Oh. Well, It's uh, officially autumn, 96 degrees today in Michigan. I guess the hurricane system made things a little wacky and uh, it's been hot. It's going to get up to like 99 tomorrow or something, which is utter misery. Coops smell bad, even though they've been cleaned out, it's just horrible. But right now it's really nice out and um, sun is setting. We're working on the birds. I noticed today that um, our raspberry bushes on the hill are really doing well. They're just loaded with raspberries still coming in and they seem to be ripening down the hill. We have a few rows that go from the top of the hill down. The ones on the top we're eating off and then the others are just loaded with berries about to burst. And the honeybee activity is really heartening. They're really good. I walked through a cloud of honeybees. They didn't bother me. They were all about pollinating. When the raspberries ripen, then we start getting yellow jackets and other creatures that we hate. But they're after the sugar, whereas the bees seem to, the honeybees seem to be after the, the flowers. So it's really cool see that happening and it's really cool to see that we'll have raspberries ripening for several weeks now probably I think the first year we moved in here we had raspberries until mid-October and it looks like that's what we're gonna have this year we have a few different varieties of raspberries when we moved in the woman we bought the place from who built this literally from scratch by herself this was a fallow grazing area for cattle before she bought it. <coughs> um, she planted this row of raspberries. Um, that's Betty. Hi, Betty. Betty likes raspberries. She doesn't, she doesn't like raspberries. So we've got some beautiful, hello, some beautiful reds up here. I have a bee on my arm. Um, and we're starting to see the carpenter bees, bumblebees, and yellow jackets on these plants. I don't know if this is science. It's just what I'm observing lately. So those beautiful reds. And then she planted um, golden raspberries. So the reds taste like the reds that you would find at the grocery store, but way better because they're fresh. And the goldens have a sweetness to them. They're not tart. Um, they're like sugar butter or something. I don't know. They're really, really good. The geese also like to eat the raspberry bush. Um, the leaves and stuff. So down here... We had the geese fenced in to try to keep pests away because we do see, um, we do tend to see starlings. They're murmuring though, so that's really cool. Oh no, those are black. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Oh yeah, so we put the geese in the area so they could eat Japanese beetles for us. But what they ended up doing was deforesting the raspberry bushes. <laughs> so that was, that was not great. Oh, the sunset's gonna be pretty. Um, so anyway, 
<coughs> Here are the rat bastards. What, eat my raspberry bushes? Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed? Did I ruffle your feathers? I cast aspersions on them. They don't like that. I don't know if you can hear over the traffic and the geese, but in the wetlands behind me, because the sun's setting, blackbirds are roosting. And because they're about to migrate, they are gathering in huge numbers and they're, we're part of their migration in the area. Uh, we provide a good environment for them. So they perch on top of the uh, reeds. And then when the sun goes down, boom, they all kind of drop down and get real quiet. And they hang out there um, all night. And they come in clouds, and I really love them. I love our red-winged blackbirds. Our friend Carl was asked when he was a little kid what his favorite bird was, and for some reason he said, red-winged blackbirds. I guess it's a family joke now. But they're pretty cool. Not as cool as you guys. Hi, Grace. Hi, Beth. Hi, Napoleon. Hi, Friendly. Hi, Don. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's part of our uh, no edit series. Bye. I thought I was done with the video, but Doug found uh, the best ear of corn Mount Mole Hill has ever produced. Yeah, like it has all the kernels all the way up. Well, almost every single t kernel. Otherwise, you know, like the one I just picked and ate was about that much of it with no kernels. Every strand of silk corresponds to a, a kernel. And hey, Betty. Betty's festive. And now I'm gonna eat it. Betty, sit. This is, Betty, sit, sit. Our harvest queen. Yes. Oh, it does. King. The smut king. Um, smut refers to uh, this shit, stuff. Isn't that gross? It's like the ears became fungus. The kernels. The kernels, I'm sorry. <coughs> Good one, Pat. Can I use the stabilizer? It's disgusting. Your